Hello and welcome inside the Mind of Matt for another episode of Nerd Safari where we go out into the wild and try to find nerds in their native environment doing nerdy things. Today that we've heard reports of one of the rarest form of their kind the blue-eyed, left-handed, red-haired, tattooed nerd of the 3D printing kind. Now, these creatures are very docile, but easily scared. Now, we are going to attempt to lure and bait this nerd with a little nerd bait, provided by CC tree. We have some CR10 extension wires that I will attempt to get close enough to its habitat and launch it into its room in order to distract it so we might film it doing an upgrade to its CR10. CC tree extension wires for my CR10? Whoa! I gotta do an upgrade! If you'd like to see, make sure you watch the rest of this video. Stay tuned! So this is some extension cables from CC Tree for a CR-10. So this should extend all of the wires of the CR-10. So, let me gain access to the control box and see what we gotta do. So some of the cables run directly into the control box and some of them plug directly into the back of the control box. So if I find the two of them that have these connectors, should be able to just unplug from there, plug into there, and then the other end plug back in. And I've extended it. Pretty, pretty long. Now the rest of the wires come directly from the control box to their destinations being limit switches and stepper motors. So I've got an E, I've got an X, I've got an X, a Y, a Y, stepper motor and limit switch. So there's one, two, three, four different cables. This one might be for a filament runout sensor which I do not have installed. So what's going to have to happen is I'll have to disconnect from their actual locations on the printer plugging the end that I disconnect into one end of the cable and then the other end 
back into where I removed it, extending the rest of these cables this long. So let me grab one of the cables and we'll start with whatever one I grab. So it appears to be the Z and the Z. So one for the stepper motor, one for the limit switch. The Z is located right here, so that's where I'm gonna start. That's the Z stepper. And as you see, it just easily plugs. Right into its location. And the limit switch. Next, we're going to do the Y. And now the last cable, which is going to include the, the extruder stepper wire, the X stepper wire, and the X limit switch. So this upgrade would be very useful if you're trying to gain some extra space wherever you got your printer set up. Or if you are wanting to put an enclosure around your printer, these will give you a little bit more range as to where you can actually put the printer. I'm going to plug it back in now. And just make sure that everything is working the way it's supposed to. So the only part cable that came with it that I didn't get to use for this particular upgrade was for the filament runout sensor, but I will be able to use that for my Piper project. So anyways, I have a link down in the description for these extension cables from CC Tree where you can get a set for yourself. If you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't, and thank you if you have. I got all kinds of links and stuff down in the description that you can check out to save some money or a bunch of ways that you can support the channel. Thank you everybody for stopping inside the Mind of Matt. Keep on coming back because there's going to be more. Happy printing and be safe pouring.